Hello and welcome to ThriftCart. In this video, I want to review the Roundup report. You can find this report in your left hand menu under Reports, and then the submenu item Point of Sale Reports, and then scroll down to where you see the Roundup report. Now, this report can be ran for a single store location or multiple locations at once, and it can be run for a single day or for a longer date range. Additional filters include limiting the report to only donations in between one and 99 cents, any positive donation amount, all donation amounts, including negative amounts, or only amounts over 99 cents. Typically, I run the report with the default option of all positive donation amounts. Click the green Generate Report button. When the report generates, the first table shows donations by payment type. So for example, for our cash transactions, we have 28 total transactions on which donations were received out of the 45 total cash transactions. We brought in over $52 in donations on our cash transactions with an average donation size of $1.88 and a total donation rate of 62.2%. For credit card, we see some similar information, but notice the donation size of 56 cents and the roundup rate of 54.5%. These average sizes and donation rates are key numbers that you will want to watch by both your cash and credit card payment types and to potentially modify if you are asking for roundup donations, 10% donations, or otherwise to try and maximize total donation money received based on the combination of average donation size and donation rate. In this next table, we can see average donation amounts and donation rates by cashier. For example, Corbin has an average donation size of $1.56 and a total donation rate of 35%. Notice that Corbin's donation rate is lower than the average cash donation rate of 62.2%. Now, if you have donations being prompted on your credit card machine, then the lower donation rate would likely not be due to credit or debit transactions, but might be due to the fact that Corbin is not asking for donations on 100% of the cash transactions he rings up. You might use this table to help set up an incentive program by with cashiers who have the highest average donation size or highest donation rates in a given month are given some sort of reward or perk. I also recommend you have a script that your cashiers can memorize and which they agree with and feel comfortable using to ask your customers for a donation. Now you might be interested in a benchmark to compare your donation rate and average donation amounts to. For a benchmark, I recommend aiming for $250 raised for every thousand transactions. This is calculated as half of your transactions receiving a 50 cent donation. In other words, half of your customers giving a 50 cent donation along with their sale. So, thousand transactions divided by two. 500 transactions, getting a 50 cent donation per transaction, $250. Your particular market might support a higher or lower donation rate than 50%, but I think that's a good goal to shoot for. And if you're focusing on asking for roundup donations, where you're asking your customer to round up their transaction to the nearest dollar, then your average donation will likely be about 50 cents. Now, if you ask your customers for a 10% donation instead, fewer customers may donate, but your average donation will likely be higher than 50 cents, maybe even exceeding a dollar or two. So while $250 per thousand transactions is the minimum donation money I recommend aiming for, if you ask for 10% donations instead of for customers to round up to the nearest dollar, you might double or triple that donation amount 
to $500 or $750 in donations for every 1,000 transactions. If you have any questions, please reach out to us. Our support email is support at thriftcart.com.